Hey, this is Svetlana with Fancy Pants Hair. Thank you for joining me today. In this video, we're going to be walking through how to properly tease your hair. As a stylist for so many years, I always get the same comment when it comes to teasing. How come when you do it, it lasts for like a week and then when I do it, it falls right out? First of all, you haven't washed your hair in a week? Gross. So then I ask every client to show me how they tease their hair and I've noticed a pattern. Like 95% of people make the same mistake. Clients be like, what am I doing wrong? So I'm gonna walk you through step by step how I tease hair, how to get it to look professional and last, as well as address common mistakes that people make when teasing their hair. All right, stay tuned. Okay, so we're here with our beautiful client, Tatiana, and we're gonna get ready to tease her hair. So her hair is clean, it's just been colored, and freshly blow-dried, uh, and straightened. So what we're gonna do first is you want a little bit of texture since her hair is so clean. Adding a little bit of a product that will give us texture will help that, um, that back combing stay in there. So I'm gonna just use any kind of texturizing powder. Now you can also use a root pump when your hair is wet and that'll give you some good texture as well. Now that we've got a little bit of grit in there, we're gonna section her off in three different sections when we tease. The first section will be right at the crown of her head. The second two sections will just be the sides. Everything in front of the ear. The reason we, we section off this way is so that we get a good even shape. It's not only high, but it's also round. We get a little more balance that way. So we're gonna start with the first section. Now, keep in mind, the thinner your sections are, the more volume that you're going to be able to achieve. So we'll start right at her crown, and the sections that we take are, you're able to see through them. Okay, ready for mistake number one that everybody makes? No. What you're doing is pulling out half of which you just push down, which causes a lot of breakage, extra damage. What we're gonna do is start about mid shaft here and just push down. Come back out, push down. We're not going to go all the way to the front. We're going to leave her bangs out so you kind of get this little mohawk action. And then we're going to go to this side, the, the other section, and we're just going to start on this way. So this is going to build that roundness for you. Alright, now we're going to go to the other side. And when you're teasing, you don't want to go real tight to the scalp because it's going to be harder to smooth over. And your goal is not to give them the best. And you know what they say, the higher the hair, the closer to heaven. Alright, so now you've got that all done, you can just kind of pull it back there. And I'm going to ask the client, look up a little bit, and we're just going to start to smooth over with 
your comb, just lightly go over and your, your, what you're trying to do is cover up all of that fat coming underneath here to give it a smooth surface. And this is a great technique when you're doing an updo to give you a lot of extra height. Alright, once it's nice and smooth, then you're going to go ahead and hit her with some hairspray. And then you're going to take the fine point of your comb, and any rat tail comb will work for teasing. Um, it doesn't have to be a special teasing comb. And you're just going to take it and you're going to pull up on areas that you want to kind of enhance that shape. Voila. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this one, make sure you subscribe below.